Hi there, welcome back to the new Tableau tutorial and in this tutorial as you can see I will going to show you how you can add the flags with the respective bar chart. So in the earlier video we created the race bar chart like this, right, if you remember and uh, what I did, what I thought is why don't uh, we add the flags of the respective country and format it so that it will going to make a lot of sense and uh, you know give us a little bit more edge as compared to the ex previous one so if i just uh, make it like super fast over here and show you so you will see that uh, along with the bar you have the respective flags as well but for some switzerland and for south korea you don't see because i have not assigned the flags to them but it's pretty easy once you know how to assign a flag to any single bar chart all right so let's see how we can do that and uh, what are all the steps that you need to do well the first thing you need to do is uh, create a race bar chart that i have shown you in my previous video i think i uploaded the video day before yesterday um, and uh, you can see uh, that video and see how you can create a race bar chart so we are done with that so that is something present here in sheet 6 so this is the one that we prepared earlier and uh, we had the different bars along with the country information which we are now transforming into this one so what do you need to do well first thing if you see in this chart which is uh, looking pretty beautiful is uh, this country information is coming on the uh, center because on the end we will in the end you know we want the flags so what you can do is uh, to take them you can come to label and uh, you will over here if I see alignment uh, here in the middle and you will change the font to white so that's number one thing that I did over there and then uh, important thing is adding a flag right like this so for that what you need to do is first of all you need to make a dual chart or dual axis chart so what i did is just add, add the dual axis chart over here and for the second one which is this one i want the shapes all right so these are now the shapes and i don't want uh, this text some or anything i just want the country information right so all right controls i will just make sure that i have some shapes available there and then in the shape once we click over here and click on the shape you will have more shapes and in the more shapes i have an additional folder of flags like this right so right now we are showing we are able to see only just one shape but what i'll do is i will put country or region on the color no not on the color on the shape so these are the different shapes which are now available and i can again go in shapes and i can assign each shape so for example over here flags right china which shape for uh, france what sort of shape so i can keep on selecting from here and assign the shape directly from here but the question arises that uh, uh, how you will take the flags over here right so for that what do i have to do is uh, i have to come over here so this site is countryflags.io and in the countryflags.io you have this flat these this particular link which is giving you the png file which you can right click and save right so over here if you see you go down there on this website countryflex.io you have the code information like ae af for afghanistan so if i change over here from es to af afghanistan i get the afghanistan flag similarly whatever country i need i will just take the two this two character code over here and change it after the website countryflex.io slash the country code af or for spain for britain you know all of that codes are available over here you can get it and then you save it in the flags folder now the flag folder location is also important 
so your flex folder location should be this uh, right now i have the tableau installed in the tableau 2009 13 and defaults shapes flags and these are the flags which i have saved so within the shapes folder i have saved it so if i just go back and see these are the different shapes which are available arrows bars bug tracking gender kpi and all of that along with that i have flags now with this you have the extensibility where you can add any shape you want to your chart not just flag but anything like for example you follow a football cricket team and on a bar chart you are creating let's say one particular bar for one particular team then you can have their flag on that so whatever flag you want you can carry it over there so once you are done with that you will come over here and make this a dual axis all right so now you see you have some this unnecessary text which i just removed and i will increase the size of the flag so based on how big you want that was super big how big you want you can get it and uh, yeah that will give you the flag information and that's what all you need and once you click on this play button which i will just increase it a little bit you will see the flag will also move along with the bars and give you the information which you need so that's mainly i wanted to show you about how you can add the flags which is pretty easy dual axis and shapes is what you need to remember and then you can do wonders with not only bar chart with any other chart of your interest so that's about it and i'll meet you in the new video with the new topic